Hi guys, this is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM Institutes. Today, talked about reading and a bit of vocabulary we have uh, got from the reading. So I'm just going to take you to the vocabulary we have done today. Uh, the vocabulary, uh, this is like very small video, but I will try to make it as crisp and as uh, worthy as possible. Uh, most important thing uh, that I wanted to talk about in vocabulary part 10 is to read the questions because sometimes we do not read the question well and that is what causes the problem. Suppose I have taken a few examples of it and you have to notice important words in the questions which sometimes we miss out. Sometimes it is given that according to research made by John Armstrong and in the paragraph, the whole paragraphs talk a lot about things and only the last line talks about John Armstrong says. So please understand when the John Armstrong says, says that line comes only that can that can be our answer. So the first five lines you have read, it does not mean anything. So, so deliberately one of the option would be given which would be directly matching with one of the first five lines. And that is where you guys do wrong. Let me explain you again. Suppose if my question says, what did John Armstrong said? Or what did John Armstrong meant? Means we want to know about John Armstrong. So the first five lines would be given. And then the, then the last line would say John Armstrong says. So that basically means the major and the most important line is last three lines. One of the options A, B, C or D. One of the options would surely be given from the first five lines and that would directly be given. So most of the people will take that. But that was not said by John Armstrong. So my question involved the word John Armstrong. So it is very important to notice the name and to find the answer in that particular line. So they tempt you to do wrong. As I have written over here that if we do not do silly mistakes, we will surely pass. It is the silly mistakes that cause the problems. If we won't do silly mistakes, we will 100% pass. So just avoid silly mistakes. Read the questions carefully. Like in today's reading, we were doing what is new about the research. So there was a whole lot of paragraph given. And then there was a word that was given in the recent research. So the recent research and the new research were the two words which were matching. So the answer had to be from that line. And the other lines of the paragraph were useless. So that is where you should know vocabulary. New, 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 non-conventional, updated, latest, upgraded. When your mobile is upgraded, that is new. Updated, that is new software, latest technology. So these are the alternative words for new, that is non-conventional, trendy, in fashion. Whereas opposite to this word is traditional, outdated, conventional, orthodox, old fashioned, outdated. These are the opposite words of new. So you should know these kind of simple vocabularies and you can read some books or some motivational thoughts. If you read one motivational story a day from just typing on the Google motivational story, you will learn these kind of simple words before sleeping, watching just one video or one story or reading one story or watching one video, either of the things will teach you some kind of vocabulary. So it would be good. And the second example of this was like, what is true? What is true among this except? Accept word is given. So accept word is opposite word. So if I say we all are intelligent, accept. That means I want to know who is not intelligent. We all are intelligent, accept, accept this person. That means this is the only person who is non intelligent. So if I say which option is true among and then say accept, accept word means opposite to that word. So that also is a very important thing. Please listen to this video two times. If you do not understand, then listen to it three times. Pause it, listen to it. This will really promote your reading. So the one thing that I wanted to mention was a bit of a vocabulary. But the major thing was that questions are very, very important to read and each and every word. Suppose if you say, 
what is the main idea of the paragraph that means in the paragraph there would be some word that would be mentioning primary or would be saying the major idea the major thing about this idea so major primary something like that would be given that is why they are asking you main idea or would be given this is very important very important means this is main thing so that is why words like these are very important please please observe these words and then a bit of a vocabulary like because we medical professionals are not from the medical uh, not not from the financial things not not do not know financial things well so that is why i wanted to include this choking of funds choking means blocking funds stopping funds means if somebody is not giving me funds that means he is not sponsoring me he is not giving me grants he is not giving me money he is not giving me monetary benefits he is not giving me funds financial incentives grants commerce business perks money monetary things financial things are all related to money so please understand these commercial words and this i really want to want you guys to know because if one question like this by chance pops up in your exam and helps you to pass just by understanding the word financial monetary money perks financial grants funds are the same thing so that will help you so these are the words like grants financial incentives so please subscribe our channel if you have not watched this video two times three times five times to understand and even before exam watching this kind of video can really be help because in the final exam we do silly mistakes because you know we get anxious so if we will not do these silly mistakes it is it is likely or it is highly likely that you will pass because it is only the silly mistakes that cause the problem so if we will not do silly mistake the chances are high that we will pass this is dr bupesh from dr bkm institute please subscribe our channel if you have not and our contact number is 7696734256 for the best quality coaching videos thank you